Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, uh, last night I had the opportunity to speak at All for Jesus at uh, uh, the SUNY New Paltz um, uh, branch of All for Jesus. Actually, uh, on Tuesday nights, they meet at the Gardener Reformed Church for a meal and a Bible study. And I got to do a Bible study on Genesis 22, the Akedah, the Binding of Isaac, which uh, we did in our Genesis Deep Dive Bible study last week. So it was a lot of fun. It was a good Bible study with these young people. Always exciting to see young people uh, who love Jesus and are, are uh, digging deep into God's word. Today is Wednesday, and that means we have our Bible studies, uh, two of our Bible studies here at the church. Wednesday evening at 6, there's our Ladies Galatians Bible study, which takes place here at New Beginnings. And at 7 o'clock is our co-educational Genesis Deep Dive Bible study. And uh, that's uh, a wonderful time as well. So um, the Genesis Bible study is here in person at New Beginnings, but it's also on Zoom. And if you'd like a link to that by Zoom, you can check out your bulletin or contact the church office if you don't have a bulletin. Um, it's also been uh, always recorded and put up on YouTube so that it's available for you after the fact or if you can't make that time. Um, so yeah, Genesis Deep Dive Bible Study at 7, Ladies Galatians Bible Study at 6 o'clock p.m. This week I'm talking about the church and uh, how and we're reawakening to the church of Christ. And uh, we talked, we're talking this week about the, the metaphors or the images that the Bible uses to talk about the church. And yesterday we talked about the church, how the Bible portrays the church as the body of Christ. And what are the, the things that are directly stated about that in the scriptures and also what are implied by the idea that the, the church is the body of Christ. Today I want to talk about the fact that the Bible describes the church as God's temple, as the temple of the Holy Spirit. And what does that mean? And so let's take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Do you not know that you are God's temple, and that God's spirit dwells in you? Uh, so Paul's point here is, of course, that the temple is holy, and you are that temple. Who's you? Who's you? Well, in 1 Corinthians, this is 1 Corinthians 3, um, but in 1 Corinthians 6, the Apostle Paul says, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you. In that instance, the word you is singular. He's talking to each individual. Each individual believer, our body is the temple of the Spirit. But here in 1 Corinthians 3, when he says you are God's temple, um, he's using the word you plural. You all, for you all together, are God's temple. He's talking about how the church, how God will protect his church. The church is holy. It's uh, set apart for God's use. It is, it is uh, beautiful in God's sight, and God will protect his church. No one can destroy God's temple. God is looking out for his temple, and uh, and he will protect. Uh, he will, he will take revenge on those who attempt to destroy his people. And that's not an individual thing. It's not like if someone out there smacks you individually on the face because you belong to Christ, that God will individually take vengeance on your behalf, although that's possible. But it's certainly saying that God protects the people of God, the, the church, as a whole. Throughout history, bad things have happened to God's people from time to time, but it's also true that those who have caused death and destruction among the church um, have, uh, have had God's wrath visited upon them. Um, and that's true either in this world, uh, of course, or in the next. So you are holy to God. You are, as a church, you are holy to God. You are set apart and he protects you. That's the first thing that this verse is trying to tell us. 
There's another passage in Ephesians chapter 2 where it talks about us uh, being built together brick by brick into God's temp into a holy temple in the Lord. Um, and that mimics in some ways the, the, the idea of the church being the body of Christ. Many parts that join together into one body, just as we are many bricks that join together into one temple. So that has a lot of parallels to that uh, meaning. So uh, the fact that we are God's temple means that we are holy and protected by him, and we're also built brick by brick into his temple. But what is a temple, right? A temple is a place of worship. Um, and it is true that the church is the place for worship of God, not the physical constructed building. And that's one thing that we can get confused about if we, if we imagine that the church is a temple. It's a metaphorical temple that meets in literal buildings. Um, our literal building is, is a place that we worship. But the church, the people of God, is the place where God is worshipped, that we worship God together and that we worship God uh, in unity together. That's, that's, the, that's the, the idea there, when, that a temple is, uh, is a place of worship. We worship together. We worship God together. The, and the final thing is that uh, the temple is God's dwelling place. It's God's uh, home, right? The place where God is at home. God's palace. God is king, and where God lives, God reigns. And where God reigns is a palace. The church is the palace of God. The church is the temple of God. The church is a place where God is worshipped. The church is holy to God, and he protects it. And the church is built together out of each of us individually, brick by brick. Now, like I said, 1 Corinthians 6 says that we each individually are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Um, and that's not there talking about the church as a whole. Um, but many of these things that I'm talking about will apply on an individual basis as well as on a corporate basis. We are able to worship the Lord uh, in, uh, by ourselves because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Um, we are holy, each of us individually holy to the Lord. And he claims us as his own. Um, and uh, he is, in a sense, I guess, building us each individually up towards maturity. And part of that is being built together into the church of Christ. The church is God's body, and the church is God's temple. Tomorrow we'll talk about another metaphor for the church in the New Testament. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you are building us up brick by brick together as a congregation. God, I pray that you'd help us to have confidence that we don't need to defend ourselves, that you are defending us. Help us to recognize that this is a place of worship when we're together. May we, may we uh, be people of worship, Lord, and help, help us to know that, uh, that we are your palace as well. Um, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for tonight's uh, Galatians Bible study and the Genesis Deep Dive Bible study. Lord, I pray that you'll bless our time together in the word. May, may you be glorified and may we learn more about you and be built up brick by brick in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, thank you, New Beginnings, for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.